Okay, so today we're gonna uh, install a carrier logo. Okay, I want you to pause at this screen. Okay, a little advantage about installing installing a carrier logo. Okay, you can just read read this. Okay, when you're done, you can continue. Okay, navigate, double click on the two dots at the top until you navigate back to this. Okay, you will be able to see system. Okay, can you see system? Yep, that's right. Double click system, then double click library, then go to carrier bundles. Okay, this is the the, 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 the place where the carrier bundles are. System library carrier bundles. This part it will take quite some time to load because there's a lot of things to load. Okay, on the right hand side, basically what you're doing here is on the right hand side are your iPhone files, on the left hand side is your computer files. Okay, so now I need to scroll to, for example, I'm using Singtel, then you, I'll, I'll scroll to Singtel. If you're using M1 and StarHub, then you just look for M1 or StarHub. If it's not there, you can just uh, let me know. I'll, I, I should be able to find where the uh, M1 and Startup hide their files. Okay, sometimes M1 and Startup hide their files somewhere else, not in this list. Okay, I want you to take both PNG files, Default Carrier Singapore and FSO Carrier, both images. I want you to click that and drag onto your desktop of your computer. Copy it. See when you drag it, yeah, see the copy, just copy it. Okay, so now we minimize the screen first. Okay, minimize, then the two files are on the desktop. It should be there. Or wherever you drag the files to. Okay, for me I drag it on the desktop for easy access. Okay, now you have the two files. You can see both my files are Verizon because I already changed my carrier logo. Okay, you can see there. By default, yours should be blank. There's, there'll be nothing there. Okay, so now you create a folder to back up these two files, just in case later on in life um, you decide to change back to your normal um, carrier name. Okay, you can always use this to overwrite. Okay, the blank ones used to overwrite your uh, carrier logos. Okay, so we backed it up. Next step is yes, read this. Pause at the screen. You can either do your own carrier logo um, or you can use the ones that are created. Okay, so this is where you download the ones that are created. I downloaded, uh, I mean I made quite a few. Okay, idleisure.com slash videos slash carrier hyphen images carrier hyphen images dot zip okay click that and then download it preferably onto your desktop again okay once you downloaded it for me I saved it into a different directory okay so I, de I designed a few as you can see AT&T, Gucci, M1, O2, Singtel, Starhub, T-Mobile, Virgin, Mobile, Vodafone. Okay, we take T-Mobile as an example, okay? So, copy those two files, the, t the two T-Mobile files, copy those, then go back to your desktop and create a new folder called New Carrier Images. Okay, double-click and then paste the two T-Mobile files inside. If I'm going too fast, you can always rewind the video. Okay, now you take your two default um, files. Okay, yours should be blank, mine is Verizon, my default files are Verizon. Okay, for you, I want you to copy the name, default carrier, Singapore Tele Telecommunications, copy, and then paste it into your T-Mobile. Okay, exactly the same file name as your original. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to overwrite the files. Okay, same thing for the other file, copy and paste. One file should be default, one file should be FSO. 
okay okay later on you realize why there are two files okay basically they're both different color because the normal default uh, top part of your iPhone is black and then when you go and do something like messages or settings it's white okay so now you go back to your win SCP okay take those two t-mobile files that you just renamed and I want you to click and drag it into the right hand part of win SCP okay you should see the plus okay hang on let me readjust the window okay take those two files drag it and drop it in into your Singtel SG bundle or your M1 SG bundle okay once you drag it they ask you whether to overwrite just click yes then second file overwrite click yes and then that's it you're done that's all you need to do so you just can close uh, your win SCP now you just click on the cross yeah click on the cross terminate session yes okay so that's all okay so now we're done with the last step to make it rain okay so now switch off your iPhone you can pause at the screen okay get ready black rain turn on your iPhone when you see connect to iTunes screen make it then just click make it rain and then wait for your iPhone to go back to normal okay once it's uh, back to normal you should see a new logo okay so enjoy and thanks